Hi everyone, okay, so we've got some new news. There's an update coming. Walking Dead, no mercy. Big announcements. Um, so let's have a chat about it, and while we're at it, let's cut down some walkers, shall we? Just a side note, I have now unlocked Dog. So we can see that support character in action during this game. Um, if you see me playing and I completely forget that I got the use of dog, then please scream at your your screens, um, and hopefully I'll be able to retroactively hear it. I don't know. Maybe that that'll work. Maybe it won't. Okay, so uh, let's take out some bad guys and let's talk about the update. So it's going to be a brand new seasonal event. Something that we're we're seeing as well is a return to some episode missions. So those are those unique missions based on the latest episode of the show. It's a big one because this will be the last time that's happening. This, of course, is going to be the last season of The Walking Dead as we know it. Um, will there be spin-offs? You know, Daryl and Carol is something that's been touted. Um, will we sort of see those episodes kind of be woven into this game? Tough to say. It's tough to say. But this will be the last run of episodes for the actual show proper. Um, so it's kind of a big deal. It's going to start off with um, the point of no return, which looks like a a pretty carol e episode. Uh, speaking of Carol, of course, something that's worth noting is that she is getting a new skin. Uh, she's going to look even more badass. Uh, obviously, fan favorite character. She she deserves to look her damn best. That's for sure. The No Mercy campaign. So this is going to be a seasonal campaign. Um, this is, you know, where you earn some fantastic rewards always do. Um, in this case, you're going to get a brand new character, got the chance to earn a brand new character called Mercer, um, who is, I, I, I think, the leader of that new faction of really badly dressed, weird, stormtrooper-y, laser tag people. Sure, that's not actually their name, but uh, that's, that's what I think of them as, because that's kind of what they look like. Um, he is an assault character, and he he kind of sounds like he's he's pretty badass actually. His his special ability sounds pretty impressive. Um, all the details, of course, are available in the update notes, and I recommend that you uh, you you check that out. You check those those notes out because that's where you're going to get all of the info from. Um, something else that you're going to have a chance to earn during that seasonal campaign is the Sawtooth Spike. Brand new uh, scout weapon. And I was just reading about what it does, and, and it just sounds absolutely fantastic. This sounds like an S-tier scout weapon. Um, it has the chance to reduce threat, which I, I love. I kind of feel like that's kind of a good uh, sort of purpose for the scouts. Um, it just sounds incredible. It deals extra damage. You know, I mean, sort of what more could you ask? It, it, it just sounds great. So I recommend you do that. Don't forget to check out the Walking Dead No Man's Land forums. Because on there you can find out how to earn enough uh, seasonal event points so that you do not have to spend any real world money to get all these fantastic gifts. Rewards, I should say, not gifts. You have to earn them, damn it. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, oh, you, yeah, the Sawtooth Spike. Regain an action point once per turn and reduce threat by one when you kill, and it deals additional damage. I mean, that's just... That's like three special traits sort of all in one. It's, it's, it's crazy. Um, there's also a couple of other... Sorry, let's just focus a little bit. Yeah, there's also going to be some other changes and additions, including some... Oh, no. I, I really misjudged that, didn't I? Um, 
Maybe I should stop talking so much. Nah, come on, we're here for the update. Um, oh, God damn it. There we go, there's, there's Dog doing his thing. Uh, yeah, we're getting some user interface updates, some sort of much needed ones. Um, that's, you know, that's great. We are... Uh, 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 get just getting some changes to the way the game works. The uh, status effects are now going to be much much clearer. Oh, what a terrible run this is! I've I've done way way better on this. I, I'm I'm getting too distracted with the uh, with the talking, but I can't blame you. How can I blame you? Um. So yeah, if you've got any thoughts about these updates, about these changes then let us know. I, I, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be quite bittersweet knowing that this is the last season, the last time we get these seasonal events. You know, I, but hey, that was going to happen at some point. So, you know, we're cool. We're cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so getting back to this particular round of... Um, you know, last man standing. I've I've made some mistakes here. I, I really really have. Uh, it's it's almost embarrassing. <laughs> I've, I've really really messed up. But uh, you know, to to only have two survivors at this point is, I mean, that's just lame. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Have we got use of? No, we haven't got use. Dog, because it was Sasha who died. And she had him in tow. Oh, I didn't think that we were going to kill that that tank. <sighs> okay, so this is this has proven to be a great video. This is a how not to do the last stand, guys. What a mess. Oh boy. Anyway, hopefully um, you've got some thoughts on the update. Hopefully you do better at the last stand than this, because, I mean, jeez, wow, that was awful. Um, but let us, let us know what you think about everything that's sort of going on with the game. And, as ever, thank you for watching.